Well, hello and welcome. So I'm going to try to be real brief here and uh, tell you about this home so we can hurry up and get inside. We are at Palm Harbor Homes, or Palm Harbor Village, I should say, in Waco, Texas. I got the Belterra here. It's a four bedroom, two bath, 1,680 square foot home. Now this one has a really nice master bathroom. I mean, ladies, you get a makeup counter, you got the big tile shower, you got just about anything you could want in your master bathroom. Speaking of bathrooms though, the guest bathroom or kids bathroom, it's a really big bathroom. It's only a two bathroom, but uh, like I said, you got a really big bathroom here in your guest bathroom. And uh, like I said, we are at Palm Harbor Village, so let's go ahead and head on in. So now that we're inside, <laughs> hopefully some of the noise is going to be muffled a little bit. He said we are really, literally right next to the freeway. And uh, so <laughs> it's hard to talk and introduce a home when there's so much noise. So I was going to mention we have a fireplace, which I didn't get a chance to mention on the outside. I really like the accent in this tray ceiling here along with that fan so they've done a really good job now it's technically not a tray ceiling because you just got the that little square thing hangs down instead of the ceiling being recessed but we do have our vents in the ceiling yes this is not fully trimmed out so keep that in mind as we're going through the home you'll see some areas that didn't get quite finished So let me go get you a closer look at that fireplace. And yes, there is a string hanging out of this deal here. That is so you can pull your wires. Something they set up so that uh, as, once the home is set up, they can just attach to that string down below and pull the wires straight up. Now this is definitely something uh, that I've never seen before with the way the material that they used. Now it looks kind of like a, a steel or a granite. It's hard to say whether it's like supposed to be steel or if it's supposed to imitate like a one of those rock formations, but uh, it looks really good. I know the camera's not picking it up very well. And I forgot to mention also on the outside, this one does have kind of a unique layout. So you'll want to stick around and check, check out the layout of this home. I'm sure I already had the floor plan come up, but this is your dining room area. And they did the same thing above your dining room table. Now you've got room to put a much larger table. And part of what makes this floor plan unique is we're going to spin around this way and do things a little bit differently. You can see it just kind of opens up back here with this really nice window here. There's your back door, your electrical panel, and then around this way comes into your utility room. Now back over here is your water heater access. That goes into your guest bathroom, not your master bathroom. 
A lot of times the door from the utility room goes into the master bathroom. This one's the, util or the guest bathroom. We've got our folding table here with a couple of cabinets. Now this is something you would normally see above your washer and dryer, not above the folding table. But above your washer and dryer you get the uh, wooden shelf. We've got a sink. And where they have all their paintings stored, that's where you're going to put your freezer. Yes, there is a plug back there. I looked. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to come back out and we're going to get the kitchen. All right. So we've got our coffee bar right next to our fridge. Lots of shelving up above the area here. These are adjustable shelves. Let's see if I can show you. There we go. These stainless steel Whirlpool appliances. Big stainless steel sink. We've got the sprayer faucet. That's kind of that chrome look again. It's a dark chrome. I'm not sure what they actually call that color, but that is what it looks like is a dark chrome. I tell you, this window is messing with my camera. Not having any lights on in the home is making it a little difficult to get. And no, the pantry isn't really black. That's just the glass they use. But it is dark in here. There we go. Now you can see better. So yeah, a really nice size pantry. I mean, it just kind of goes and goes. Nice to see a big pantry in such a big home. And then coming around to our stove area, once again they've got that same uh, finish on your range hood as they do where your TV and your fireplace were. I really like these shelves. You got your subway tile backsplash. Goes all the way up to the ceiling, all the way around. Looks really good. Some big deep cabinets here. And behind you is your, your microwave and your pots and pans drawers. You got a couple of drawers below the microwave and this really large island. Electrical outlet on this end. And you're getting the same finish at the bottom of your island also. On this side we get a little cubby. Must be time for the bedrooms. They're all down at this end except for your master. So we're gonna start, we came down the hallway, we're gonna go to the left. There's your furnace for your central heating and air. We're gonna get the bathroom out of the way first. Like I said, this is a big bathroom. So we've got this really large counter here. And back this way, of course, your toilet. 
And then we've got the two piece, nope, this is a one piece shower tub combo. Glad to see the diffuser is working on my light because last time I tried to use it without the light a couple months ago or without the diffuser, it just looked like a big spotlight. And of course, we got our towel rack right there. We've got some linen cabinets here. And this is the door that goes into your utility room slash kitchen area. So now we're going to come out and do this bedroom back here. As you can see, looking through that door, we've got a big walk-in closet. Lots of space in your closet here. Coming back out, we'll go to the front half of the home where you're going to find bedroom number two. Now this one also has a really large walk-in closet. So here is your large walk-in closet for bedroom number two. And then bedroom number three. Now this one doesn't have the walk-in closet. This just has the closet that runs kind of lengthwise of the bedroom or widthwise, I guess you would say. Now we got master bedroom. So our master bedroom, as we walk in, is huge. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but this is a really big bedroom. I mean, look at the end of your bed to the dresser. Look how much space you have there. And in perspective, that is a queen size bed. And look at how much space you have on each side of the bed. So that is a lot of space. And the bathroom is so big, you got to have double doors. So we've got our cabinets down below, four drawers. Now I don't know if that's what those are designed to be for as towels, but they got towels kind of rolled and folded up in there. Dual vanity, dual sinks. So we've got the darker tile backsplash there. We better say hello to Raiden before we forget. On the back side here is our linen cabinets. This must be the home where they store all the artwork. And in here is your closet. 
And you've got a great big closet, wraps all the way around. Nice set of built-ins right there with some drawers. So I'm not sure if I pointed out, but all your vents are in the ceiling. And here is your makeup counter. Next to that is the water closet. Now this is a nice wide water closet with more linen cabinets. And then we've got a little bench over here to sit down and kind of relax on. Window above you, of course. And then our tile shower. Now there is no bench in your shower. There's a really nice tile in here. Well, I hope you all really enjoyed this one. I really like the uniqueness of the floor plan, the wide open feel of everything. And nothing about this home feels small to me. Of course, it is a larger home. And with that, I hope you all are uh, hitting that subscribe button and turning on those notifications. Because, like I said, there's changes coming to the channel. There are not going to be set days that I upload. So uh, hit that notification bell. That way you can get notified when I upload videos. Because instead of just set days, it's going to be every other day. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed that video. Um, it's... Uh, really nice home I hope I'm not looking too tired tonight uh, it's been a long day I just got done doing a 12-hour shift had enough time to spend about an hour with my kid before you had to go to bed so you know I did 8 o'clock in the morning 8 o'clock at night it's now 11 30 at night trying to get this video out for you guys because I got to be back to work at 8 o'clock in the morning so I'm not gonna have time to get it edited and uploaded by the time I get off work tomorrow so yeah, doing a late night, burning the candle for you. But uh, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. It was a really nice home. So this is called the Belterra at Palm Harbor Village in Waco, Texas. A little over 1,600 square foot, you know, all sheetrock. So, you know, got to get into this price information. I know that's what y'all are waiting for. So with that, this was at time of filming in January of 2023. You know, there could be extra city fees, county fees, things like that, depending on where you have this home delivered, have it set up. Palm Harbor is nationwide, so they could make this home in Florida. They could make this home in Washington. You know, heck, you can get it up in New York probably. Who knows? Or something real similar to it. So that could affect the price. So keep all that kind of stuff in mind. But with that, the price that they gave me for this home as shown January of 2023 in Waco, Texas, comes in at $190,000. So, uh, like I said, keep all those kind of variations in mind. I know it's late, I'm rambling, so I'm going to get out of your hair. And I uh, hope you guys are going to get down into the comment box and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the home. And uh, turn on the notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.